Inside this Etobicoke church, Ukrainian children sing their national anthem and pray for their home country. Saturday will mark two years since the Russian invasion began. For many, the prayer for victory is especially important because their fathers are on the front lines. Yervani Honcharov's dad is a military doctor. I feel good because my dad is a kind of hero and I'm, I'm, I'm like, proud of him. And yeah, but I want he's here. The church was filled with students from St. Demetrius Catholic School. For many Ukrainian children in the city, it's been a safe haven. Since the war began in February 2022, the student population has nearly doubled in size. Our children, our students, our community really needs a sense of healing, a sense of hope and, uh, and unity, and to show that we're, we're, with, we're with them through all of this. It's very nice to be so fast and small. She says it's wonderful because children speak Ukrainian and English, so she's feeling at home having the Ukrainian, but she's learning English from the English speaking. Here's the Ukrainian, and uh, I like feel comfortable here. Teacher Matthew Delinda says teaching students from a war-torn country comes with special considerations. Giving them that normalcy, allowing them, giving them that safe space as soon as they come here, I think was the most challenging task because uh, there was lots of triggers that you just would not know uh, if it was even the bell ringing. Inside the church, speakers didn't shy away from the reality of the invasion, mentioning Russia's missile strikes on civilian infrastructure like hospitals and theaters. And pray to the Mother of God that she may turn away those drones and those missiles that are falling on Ukraine. Saturday, students from the school will join thousands of others in downtown Toronto, where a solidarity event is being held at Nathan Phillips Square. Lane Harrison, CBC News, Toronto.